Does mixing RAM hurt performance? In this video, we'll find out if mixing DDR4-3600 and DDR4-3200 slows your computer down. Now, this is a scenario where maybe one of your sticks went bad or you're cobbling together a PC with whatever parts you can find. We'll pretend a stick went bad, but we have another slower stick to spare. So for this test, we'll grab a stick of Team Group DDR4-3600 mega transfers per second and a stick of Dado DDR4-3200 mega transfers per second. We'll put them in dual channel mode and fire up our test board. Off the bat, the board won't post, just a black screen. When this happens, the easiest fix is to reset the BIOS. Usually it's two pins marked CMOS or CLRTC. Some nicer motherboards have a button you can just push and reset the BIOS. With the board powered off, we jump these two pins for a few seconds. Now let's power it back on. Okay, great. So we're in the BIOS, excuse the screen cap issues. You can see the memory is recognized and both sticks are running at a slow 2400 mega transfers per second. We can't use memory profiles with non-matching sticks, so we'll manually set both to the speed of the slowest RAM, which is 3200 mega transfers per second. With that set, we'll boot into Windows to verify the speed and run some memory tests. You can see both sticks are now running at 3200 mega transfers per second. We could adjust timings, but this is time and labor intensive and we're just running some basic function tests. Okay, so we'll run memmark three times and average the speeds. While we run this, I'll quickly mention that running mixed sticks of RAM can have odd stability issues and therefore I don't recommend doing it if you can avoid it. Okay, so the mixed RAM test has completed with an average score of 2641. Now, do you think this score is slower, faster, or the same speed as two matching sticks? Well, unfortunately, after running the same test on the two matching sticks of DDR4-3200, we lost 468 points, or 15.5% of our performance. Mixing modules definitely hurt our memmark scores by a noticeable amount. Now, again, we could try to adjust the timings, but I don't see us getting the top score without an increase in instability. So while you can mix memory if you're in a pinch, you will lose some performance in most cases and probably see some stability issues as well. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you found this video helpful. Thanks again. Goodbye.